Long term, and this is my opinion, putting that bio stabilization probably works better mm -hmm. for you. Long term, property values, aesthetics, maintenance, everything Safety. involved. Children sense. going down there. Um, rocks obviously can break away. Those cages do break away. Break, those those mm -hmm. cages do break Kids or rust and break open. That, yeah. that does happen. So. Now, okay, so looking at your picture here, if it's a 15 foot drop or any range of 15 to 20, you're looking at it anywhere from a 30, 30 to 45, 30 to 45 feet out. So that's going to change the whole dynamics of the way that creek looks and where it actually is coming. And we're doing that anyway with those veins. Okay. So that yeah. vein work is so going to stay there. Okay. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. That's probably the important thing. Those veins are going to stay there and continue that channeling of the energy towards a more favorable flow, not in June term. So do you have to dig into the other bank then to, to do some of this, or it's all within the contract? No, you, we, you, you, do the, you do a hydraulic energy calculation okay. to say, are you, we basically say, are we changing the energy situation on the other side? Mm -hmm. The answer is with what we're proposing, no, you don't. So it'll see after we're done exactly what it sees now. It, it's not moving now, so it should be okay. And what kind of material is that? Just big rocks? Is that? <laughs> the, the permanent or the temporary? The permanent on those veins. No, the permanent is the biostabilization. It yeah. will be a... What the veins are. With the vein, yeah, I'm sorry. The veins will be a rock type material in the middle of the creek, large enough so that it can't be moved. And they'll be placed, and they will just basically keep directing the energy so back into the middle big. of the chain. Because I've seen some big rocks back there that yeah. you know, right. shifted over time, but yeah. so these would be bigger than that. Thing. Well, they'll also be interlocked. Oh, okay. Um, they will be sequenced such that <clears throat> you try to place them in the dead energy zones because one will change the energy. Well, as long as you keep doing it. Before it builds up enough energy, it has to do with the engineering. You've okay. got to make sure you place them. And it's almost like a positive chain reaction, the energy reduction by, by the placement. Okay. <clears throat> and that's something we've used at other places. As a matter of fact, we've used it downstream of here, or downstream? I think upstream. Upstream of here on Fish Pond. It's actually part of a general, bio, a general plan that was done for the upper part of Fish Pond above you. Okay. to stabilize it and we've gone through as we've done there was a federal grant to do part of it and as our sanitary sewer replacements cross it we use that same plan and it's the same kind of vein is that over like reese road was it that improvement or uh that reese different? road was boy it sounds like that was one of them yeah, i have to look you know what i can do is um nice get lance where though where they're yeah. at physically that you guys can go out and see that would be, yeah, yeah. yeah let me we'll do that we'll do that uh, you can see if you want to just go without getting me involved. Okay. So no worries. I'll do that. Hey, Ron, do you have any questions? Uh, yeah, you, I answered some well, thanks, Clay. Um, uh, well, let's see, some of these are cosmetic. Uh, you talked about a fence. Will we be able to pick a type of fence? I'd like to be able to see through the fence. I don't want a privacy fence. Within reason. Yeah, I, we're... It won't be eight foot wrought iron with gold balls on top. It will be, it will, it will be a similar backyard fence to what you have now. Yeah. Just, you know, really we do have city holding the rest of us. That was the one silver lining that you know the spring came in and you know almost threw my house away, but uh, I got to see the the, the 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 fence and the deer and all back there. So that's good. You guys all have something different, and I have no re reason why we couldn't accommodate whatever, even if they're different. That that would be fine. When you talk about uh, bio, uh, the biomass. Yeah, there, there used to be a line of trees back there. Would that be? Would, there, would you be planting trees also? No, we will. Um, as part of the biostabilization, as I was describing, part of it is really controlling the root structure and the reinforcing of that slope. Um, we, unless trees are part of that structure, we won't be planting them. Yeah. What What happens? And, oh, go ahead. And and. As part of turning over to you how to maintain this, um, we may let you know whether it's a good or a bad idea to plant trees. Plants could be detrimental. Yeah. What, what, so, in particular trees, what can happen if the, if the roots don't get deep enough? They can go deep, just deep enough though that for some reason the top they will tear down, the They fall down, they can rip over the top of the top. Yeah. I see it's, it's native prairie planting is what they're going to be doing. Do you understand this? I work for green. For there you go. <laughs> that's who you need to ask. So there you go. But yeah, that's what. Matter of fact, I, I, when you guys go by, uh, you drive down the interstate, you go over an overpass, you've seen that long, tall grass that lays down. Mm -hmm. The State Highway Department has actually designed that to withstand wind and rain, as well as to allow snow to pass through the. And they do with wind, the hydraulics of wind, the same thing as we're doing with water here. And they can design things to withstand those kind of forces. Oh, baby. I know. 
Will they have to be cut or mowed or anything? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, just, just a little bit of a Usually it's kind of a ground hugging type vegetative cover. Okay. And for you guys out there too, you could actually redo all your lawns like this too and never have to mow them again. More environmentally <laughs> friendly, but I'm just, just not an engineer. So. So. <laughs> Is that an invasive plant? So would it, would it come into the yard? I mean, just, okay. No, I've never said exactly. No, you should have a problem. Right? You will not have a problem. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I was stepped a little bit beyond my expertise, so I thought I'd make sure. It, it shouldn't should be an issue. I forgot about <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Any, um, I don't know the, the proper format to address this in, but the tree that we have in our backyard right now is half dead and dying, and it is right on the head. Do you have any trees? That are, and you're talking about the, for the immediate future or for the long term? No, first? right now. For about the next <laughs> okay, three weeks. Any, by, and we talked about this kind of earlier. Right, if right. you have any trees that are close to the washouts now, right. the best thing you can do is cut them off and leave the stump and roots. Okay. Okay. Stump and roots are reinforcing what you have, but the weight of the big trees trying to get the thing to fall out and fall right. into the channel. Right. Well, the so, roots go all the way up to our deck. Well, my point is you want to leave the roots. Right. Right. But yeah. what I would do is cut the tree off. Because that's some of that twerking earlier. Wow. It's the top of the tree that will pull right. those roots out. And that those, those roots will stay. That's what I'm worried yeah. about is it falling and pulling out. The, the roots will stay. The roots will reinforce the ground for the time period that okay. you don't have to worry about them dying off in, in five months. Maybe. Is that the only tree like that along there? I don't know. You got we, some new ones back there. We, we, we came off and cut one. Right. Do you have more that look like that? I would like that. Yeah, ours is more. We did that at the first What I'll do is we'll do it. Yeah. I'll have the see. Yeah, you know what? I saw one hanging out as we were standing over here, and I think we need to. What we'll do is we'll come back and see if there's more right now. Yeah. Okay. And we'll come back. And Should somebody operation probably pop to Mark to determine which trees need to be cut? Jerry Kevin, you see me talking. Jerry Kevin. Right. Jerry, yeah, he'll get a hold of Mark. All right. Are you guys planning to put like trees in the backyard since we lost all the trees? No. Probably not. So, Trees, my guess is trees are not going to be a good idea. Um, um, I, I don't know, we won't be putting trees back. Um, Clay, I'll have them get in touch with you, okay. and we'll endeavor to get somebody out there for the next week or so to go through. Maybe just that we can get them out here a little bit later today, go through and identify which trees we need to take care of, and we'll get that taken care of. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. good. What's up? And I, I, I'd say temporary fix versus a permanent fix. Um, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Um, now the temporary fix, so they're coming in, uh, if I understand this right, they're coming in with rock, but then for the permanent fix, they're not using rock? For the temporary fix, they will take existing material and pile it up, pile it up against the toe of the slope just to have a mass there uh, that, that, is, that is very not very permeable to water, and then they will cover that with real big shot rock, the kind of big rock that comes out as they excavate in quarries, the big pieces. They will take it and place it so that it can't be moved. It will deflect most of the energy and it will keep the, the small stuff that we pushed up against the slope, keep it from washing away. And that will be a temporary fix to make sure it doesn't hardly move at all uh, until we get the permanent fix in. So then when you do the permanent fix, do you pull out those big um, they may or may not. Um, if they if they enhance or don't disturb the integrity of the permanent fix, we'll leave them. If they would be an issue, we would pull them out. I, you know, the area where you key into the existing areas, obviously the big rock would have to go away because that would be possible. In the middle where you got the big fixes, it may be a plus. It may be okay to leave it. Uh, it depends on how the design comes out. And we will, and, and I did understand that, I believe uh, Clay had brought up about uh, uh, written explanations if someone were to uh, try to sell their house, uh, it's my understanding we have to describe all, all erosion-related issues and what's been done, and so MSB would be providing us with something, um, a description that would satisfy, hopefully satisfy a, a, a buyer. Yes, and, and when we've done that in the past, it's always been satisfactory. Yeah. So, yes, we will. I'd almost term it like summary documents of the project. All right. I just, yeah, I thought that's what I heard. And yeah. And I was talking about that last week. Uh, I just want to double check. 
I, I, I think that's all the questions I have.